And kids across the valley got an out of this world experience today. The opportunity to talk live with a NASA astronaut who's currently in space. It's quite a phone bill right there. 12 <laughs> News journalist Trisha Hendricks right there capturing the sights and sounds of the experience and giving us a first hand look. Three, two, at the Arizona Science yes. Center. Hello, everybody. This is going to be the best day of my life. Eight-year-old Emma Kunji was one of more than a dozen kids that got the chance to talk live with an astronaut at the International Space Station. The ISS is approaching the United States. The Hamshack radio team was able to contact the ISS by amateur radio. 15 seconds. So these junior scientists could ask NASA astronaut and U.S. Navy Commander Matthew Dominic questions for 10 minutes. What did you ask? How are your dreams in space? Are they different from your dreams on Earth? Over. And he said they're kind of different. It's like fun that you get to float. What is your daily schedule? Oh, what did he say? He doesn't have to work on Sundays and Saturdays. Oh, that's nice. And with no delay, he answered each one of their questions loud and clear. They do at, at least two hours of exercising a day. I asked how did they calculate how much steps it takes to go to the it involved a bunch of math. This incredible experience became a reality after an extensive proposal process. All the volunteers, they have been working really hard to make the proposal. And the Arizona Science Center was among nine institutions selected to host the 2024 Amateur Radio on the International Space Station. There is still a legal practice that you still have to go to in order to utilize a ham radio. It remains an effective form of communication. And especially in emergencies. To say this was a big deal is an understatement. So cool. The primary the goal of the program is to engage young people in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, and to raise their awareness of space communications, radio communications, and space exploration. It's time to say goodbye to our astronauts. These kids and their families leaving with all smiles and a special pin on their shirt. I connected with ISS July 2024. An experience they'll always remember. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. What a wonderful job. Congratulations on a great contact.